Rx Productions. tradition as I pray in mine. Let us pray. Eternal God, we are grateful for the opportunity today to recognize leaders and the work that they have done. We thank you for Captain Phillip and his service with the soldiers and families of Alpha Company. We pray with gratitude for his dedication to our great nation. We also thank you for Captain Galindo and his wife Rebecca. We ask for your blessing on their family. Grant your wisdom and guidance as he provides leadership in the weeks and months to come. We pray that you would bless this change of command ceremony, and I pray it all in your name. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of 225th BSV, Lieutenant Colonel Brian Shoemaker. Aloha! Aloha! All right, I'll let you get away with that one. That's why we do rehearsals. But they did it, they did it different this time than we did it last, last week. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Captain Phillip, uh, Captain Galindo, Colonel Williams, good to be here today. Uh, he sends his best. Uh, congratulations, uh, Rich, on the job well done. And uh, Captain Galindo, for all that you're going to do for the company, the battalion, and the brigade. Uh, fellow company command teams, friends and family of the Dragon and Atlas Company Ohanas, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here with us today as we celebrate Atlas Company, the brigade's distribution company, and their accomplishments under the command of Captain Rich Phillip. I would also like to extend a special welcome Captain Phillips' mother, Miss Laura Phillip, who is joining us all the way from New Jer Jersey. Laura, welcome. Uh, it's great to have you here. I checked the weather this morning, and I think it was uh, about 27 degrees there. So uh, I know that you are here to celebrate Rich and all of his accomplishments, uh, but from a weather perspective only, I think you made the right decision. Hopefully, you won't get too much rain during your stay. I'd also like to recognize Captain Galindo's wife, Miss Rebecca Galindo. Uh, Rebecca, welcome to the Dragon and, uh, and Alpha Company Ohanas. Christy and I look forward to working with and getting to know you and Will over the next year. First Sergeant Hernandez, as always, the company looks great. It's a great honor to be part of this ceremony. The passing of the colors from one commander to the next is very important as it signifies the passing of authority as a responsibility from Captain Phillip to Captain Galindo. We all should take time to recognize that while we all pass through units, the unit with its history, lineage, and honors always remains. Captain Phillip has contributed to that history and Captain Galindo now will bear the responsibility to continue the proud legacy of Alpha Atlas Company. Standing before you is the outstanding soldiers of Atlas Company. They performed the difficult and important missions for the BCT. From operating our supply support activity, fuel, water, ammunition, storage and distribution, and transportation missions, these jobs these warriors perform day to day contributes to not only the readiness of the company and battalion, but to the entire brigade. Simply put, the BCT could not function without them. Each one of them are critical to the superb support the company and Dragon Battalion provides to the Warrior Brigade. Please join me with a round of applause for these warriors. As I mentioned last week with two uh, company changes of command, today is a bittersweet day for the company as we farewell one great Dragon soldier and welcome another. Captain Phillip has distinctly served as Atlas Six for the past 12 months. Rich is the ultimate professional and epitome of what it means to be a team player. And this can be seen in a very of past about the future on a daily basis under his steady hand. Rich, Rich's planning and intense training mindset ensured his company was highly trained and always ready to execute any mission. From executing numerous weapons qualification ranges, convoy escort team gunnery through table six, the certification of over 100 soldiers on basic and advanced night drivers training and the fundamentals of logistics release point operations. Rich remained laser focused on preparing his soldiers to execute tactical sustainment operations that enables the battalion to extend the operational reach of the warrior brigade. Additionally, over the past seven months, Rich and his team from the SSA has enabled the brigade to turn over, turn in over $16 million worth of excess equipment running a minimal free retrograde program that has received numerous accolades from senior logisticians across the island as the standard bearer for other SSAs and Schofield, Schofield Bear Barracks. I have no doubt that the company is ready for 
for the rigors of the upcoming brigade intensive training cycle that will culminate in a joint readiness training center rotation at Fort Polk, Louisiana this October. Rich, your positive impact on operations is evident throughout the entire brigade. Thank you sincerely for all you have given to the soldiers and families of Atlas Company. You will always be a dragon, and we wish you the very best as you transition up to the Division G3 current operations section. The Dragon Battalion and Atlas Company are gaining a truly great command team as we welcome Captain Will Galindo and his wife. Captain Galindo is no stranger to the brigade as he has served as Assistant Brigade S4 for the past seven months and made an e immediate impact background when he was in the middle assignment in the 3rd Cab Regiment at Fort Hood, Texas, and the 75th Quarter Artillery Brigade at Fort Still, Oklahoma. Will, you're the ideal choice to lead Atlas Company to greater heights. Warrior 6 and I have absolute faith and confidence that you will meet the challenges that lie ahead. Give the Atlas soldiers nothing but your very best each and every day, and I have no doubt you and the company will continue to achieve greatness. In closing, I'd like to thank again all the soldiers of Atlas Company for all that you do to support this battalion and, and the Warrior Brigade. You are true professionals in every sense of the word, and I deeply appreciate the sacrifices you and your families make to serve our Army and this great nation. Tropic Lightning, Warriors, Dragons. Ladies and gentlemen, the Alpha Company, Captain Richard Phillips. Good afternoon, same with Jess, Dragons, friends and family of the Alice Ohana, Lieutenant Colonel Shoemaker, Commander Sergeant Major Ian, thank you for attending today's ceremony. Lieutenant Colonel Shoemaker, Commander Sergeant Major Ian, it was an honor to work for you over these past nine months. I truly appreciate the honest feedback and mentorship. I truly believe we've built something special in this battalion, and I can't wait to see the heights that the new team will take the company to. Most importantly, I want to thank the soldiers of Atlas Company for their continual, tireless efforts to feed the machine and keep the world turning. Soldiers like PFC Lee and PFC Ordonez, working every day in the SSA, ensure that each, ensure that each battalion is supported with timely Class 2 and Class 9. Soldiers like PFC Talington Specialist NG, who work to support this brigade with both Class 3 and Class 1 every day. Soldiers like Specialist Banks and PFC Stats, working every day to ensure that TMRs were completed and the wheels of logistics kept turning. There are so many of you that I'd like to thank, and I can't say all of your names right now, but please give a round of applause to all the soldiers of Alice Company who work every day to make the mission happen. my fellow commanders, past and present, Chris, Thelma, John, Brian, Vicki, Justin, Chris, Allie, Shirley, Brittany, Dan, JT, and Matt. Yes, I have a forklift for you. No, I won't let you borrow it indefinitely. Don't worry, we'll move your container from one side of the motor pool to the other because I know how much you all love to play tennis. I want to thank my officers, Lieutenant Yadow, Lieutenant Ogburn, Lieutenant Butler, Lieutenant Salford. You all have bright futures ahead of you. I hope you learn from the good and the bad during my tenure as your boss. I know you all will excel in the future. Chief Cassini, you truly were a godsend for this battalion, brigade, and division. The, monument, the monumental change you oversaw in the SSA is truly mind-boggling. We are so lucky as a company, battalion, brigade, and division to benefit from your presence. I can't wait to see you pinned on CW3, CW4, and CW5 in the future. First Sergeant White and Hernandez, I truly appreciate the mentorship you provided me during my tenure in command. NCOs make it happen. This company would have truly failed to be a steady and constant guy. and all the other NCOs in this company, we are the ones on the ground making it happen. It is not lost on me for one second the profound impact you have day in and day out, making sure that the mission happens. Captain Galindo, I want, I want to thank you for a first class transition. I know that this company is in very capable hands with you and First Sergeant at the helm. 
I can't wait to see the new heights you take this company to. Tropic Light. Where is the Dragon Atlas character? Is that a 6 -hour? challenges, growth, and accomplishments in our path. In closing, I again want to thank everyone for attending today's ceremony, and I look forward to leading such an outstanding group of men and women in the journey that it's going to bring. Tropic Lightning, Warriors, Dragons, Atlas, this is Atlas 6 signing on the net. Regards to Captain Philip. Refreshments will be served in Alpha Company Conference Room. 